Hi, my name is Amaya and I'm a CA at University Housing through University of Arkansas and this is the next segment of our York Home Life Tour at Gregson. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I have Henry who is holding the camera. Yeah, at least if I can turn this around a little bit, it's a little hard. There we go. Hey everyone, I'm Henry. I'll be the cameraman today and um, I'll be monitoring the chat. So if you have any questions for us, I'll be sure to uh, try and answer them. And let us know where you're tuning in from, like City and State. Maya, what's first up on the agenda? Okay, so now we're just going to talk about the location of Gregson. So Gregson, I feel like it's not well known throughout campus, but it's a great spot because it's I literally at the top of Dixon Street. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's a pretty fun place. You know, we have our dining hall 1021 right here. Mm -hmm. And then founders dining hall, like um, Slim, Sushi. Um, pretty sure we have like, a salad place and we also have um, some renovations going on. So we have like even a bigger Slims. Mm -hmm. um, and we have like the music hall and I believe mm -hmm. um, Starbucks. So, yeah. you know, morning coffee. Morning coffee. You know, just if you're late, like literally you can get up five minutes and mm -hmm. just go to Starbucks. Just a few quick. feet away. Yep. And yeah, and then we also have Gibson, which is another dorm that we mm -hmm. have here. Over there. So, like, right over there. Yeah. And the Greek Theater's not too far away either. It's like right behind yeah. Gibson. Yeah. So, if you just like literally go down Dixon, if, Pretty much everything you can find mm -hmm. in this town to like have fun is if you go down Dixon Street. So if you go down Dixon, find an amphitheater, a couple more buildings for like lecture halls, and if you can go further down, you can reach downtown of Fayetteville, mm -hmm. and that's where we'll have a lot of restaurants, some cool mm -hmm. like shopping places. Like I personally really like um, the Dixon Street Bookstore. It's mm -hmm. where you can get a lot of secondhand books. It's really cool. It's like basically a maze. Um, some nice restaurants and just places to have fun. So there's that. Awesome. Yeah. So now we're going to go to the front desk? Yes, now we're gotcha. going to go to the front desk. And then people, we got people tuning in from Texas, Arkansas, of course, Oklahoma, California, and Alaska. 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 Wow. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so here is where we'll have the front desk. Mm -hmm. So up here is the front desk. Um, this is where you guys will be receiving your packages if, you go to, uh, if you're going to be living in Gregson. This is also where you'll be receiving your packages if you are living down at Walton, you come up here instead and have your packages delivered here. Um, and all that would really require is that you're going to get an email from University Housing and you'll just come up here and just, you know, they'll issue that package out to you and you'll be done. In terms of like actual mail, like letters, we have these um, PO boxes and you'll be assigned like a PO box with a locker combination. And I'm going to be honest, these are kind of tricky. Uh, they do have instructions at the top, mm -hmm. so you'll never be confused. And if this doesn't help, we also have QR code to a video. So there is that. But this is where you get like letters, birthday cards, or um, other cards from like family members, or like just anything in general. This mm -hmm. would be like where those will go, and then like packages like from Amazon will be um, issued to the from the desk admin okay. right there. And you can check my details on the housing mm -hmm. portal. And that's where you'll find that information. Yeah, that's where you'll find um, the address for the package to be delivered here and your P.O. box and the locker combination to your P.O. box that you'll be assigned to. Awesome. Cool. All right. So now we're going to head down to the basement. Mm -hmm. And so as we're heading down to the basement, I'm just going to mention a, um, a couple of general facts about Gregson. So Gregson was actually opened in 1947, and it was named after William S. Hoff Gregson. He was the director of religious activities, and he was also a dean of men. So this is actually an all boys dorm, and now it's a co-ed dorm. Gotcha. Um, now, I don't really know particularly like if the floors are gendered or if it's split in half, but it's kind of like, mm -hmm. when you get here, you'll know. Yeah, so. I believe it's split in half on each floor. Mm -hmm. That's from what I remember. Also, we had a question. Can we check out a vacuum from the front desk? Yes, and you I believe should be able so, to yes. check out like cleaning supplies, mm -hmm. um, like a wet mop, a vacuum. I've particularly done that. Like I haven't lived at Gregson, but I have lived in another dorm where, you know, I need a vacuum cleaner real quick. And gotcha. You can just go up to the front desk and checking out things um, at the front desk usually um, just means giving them your student ID and then they hold on to it as collateral. Mm -hmm. And another question we have, Christopher, will we be showing a, um, a corner room? We can. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We, can. we will show a corner room. Cool. cool, cool All cool. right. So where are we at now? So right now we are at this library nook. Oh, why did that turn them off? <laughs> it's dim, dim lighting, very cozy. Okay, okay, sorry. That was a little <laughs> bit of a 
pick up. Uh-huh. But this is the little library slash reading nook that we have in Gregson. Mm-hmm. So obviously we have shelves where we have a bunch of like textbooks, and we have some um, board games, and then we have a fireplace. Ooh, can we use it? Very warm. That's no, we can't. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. um, picture in there. Though. It does. Yeah, it pr- provides ambiance to this mm-hmm. reading nook, but unfortunately, it is very it, fake. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's just nice. really like more of less like safety and like fire hazards yeah unfortunately we do not trust freshman college people that much when it comes to like fire that, that'd probably be probably so, for the best yeah we kind of right. just it's safe yeah. so um, nice area to to study and read and relax yeah. i think this is called the gregson basement this yeah, yeah so this, this is whole the, area is the gregson yeah. basement um oh, i still forgot to mention real quick over there that's where we have recycling so this is where you'll drop off you know your bottles your cardboard and stuff like that and for trash shoots, I believe we have trash shoots in Gregson. Mm-hmm. And probably. Check with your CRE. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably just check with your CRE yeah. or your RA when you come here. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Um, but in the first week of move-ins, they'll have like a big like um, trash area outside usually. Mm-hmm. So there's that. Um, right here we have the common space. And so mm-hmm. this is kind of like a little living room area. So this is where we have like a TV so you can watch um, movies or you can watch like the football team mm-hmm. you know go hogs <laughs> um, yes. woo pig woo yeah pig. i know that like our basketball team did really well so mm-hmm. there's also you could watch basketball team on here or you could also play some video games mm-hmm. um i know that with some dorms we have like gaming consoles that you can check out i don't know if that's true for gregson but mm-hmm. like hopefully it is yeah um, what's it, your it, choice for mario kart Who do you choose? mario kart um, I usually go for like either like a really like cute character mm. um, like Yoshi or um, what's a little mushroom dude? Toad. <laughs> Toad. Yes. Or Toad. like the little like pink character that like swallows everything up. Okay. Oh, it's like Birdo, I think. Is that? Yeah, I'm it's not like sure. it's like a little like it almost looks like a ghost, but like the ghost one, but it's not. It's like pink and it just like swallows that like its powers okay. like swallowing everything mm. up like a black hole. Gotcha. So I go for those characters. Intense. Good to know. So. We have another question that is it is not Mario Kart related, but will all freshmen will be all freshmen at Gregson? Um, um it should be. So yes. basically yeah. everywhere on campus, since we have such a big incoming freshman class this year, um, we wanted all the freshmen to be living on campus. So pretty much only freshmen is really living on campus. Anyone else who isn't a freshman, they like had a really like it's like they have a scholarship that depends yeah. to be in university housing, like they have to live in a dorm. Yeah. Right. We're talking about less than 50, mm-hmm. 50 yeah. students or so yeah. upper level students. Yeah. This is an upper level hall typically. So, mm-hmm. hey, first year, we've opened it up for Freshman. first year students. Yeah, so yeah. there you I'll go. On it. So I wouldn't particularly worry about like, being like, oh, this person's a sophomore and they're being mean, blah, 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 like whatever. Like mm-hmm. that's not gonna happen. Yeah. And the likelihood of that happening, even if that wasn't the case that all freshmen were living on campus, it's like kind of yeah. cliche, almost never true, won't happen. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's all, all, all new people here. So. So it looks like this is the kitchen. We have a kitchen, and so we have an ice machine, a little fridge, mm-hmm. um, microwave, stove, and an oven so you can actually cook, and some cabinets. Mm-hmm. And you can, um, I believe you can check out some kitchen things from the front desk as well if you don't have like a cutting board or like a bowl or a pot. Um, and now we're gonna leave the kitchen because it's kind of messy. Yeah. So we're just gonna leave that real quick. Gotcha. Um, and right over here we have the laundry room. Um, Everything's kind of unplugged right now because uh, we are now um, tracking um, your um, wash cycles and dry cycles mm-hmm. through the app um, Speed Queen. Yeah. And so before your laundry fee came in with your housing fee, and so we kind of assumed like how many times you would dry and wash your clothes, but now you get um, two credits each week. Um, mm-hmm. You get like two credits for a wash cycle and two credits for a dry cycle each week. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you need to wash more or have more dry cycles, then it's $1.50 for each cycle. So $1.50 for each washing cycle, for each drying cycle. So like $3 for a load mm-hmm. and that's gonna happen. Um, and if you need more details on that, I would just recommend looking up York Housing Laundry, mm-hmm. and I'll tell you more details and exactly like what app to use, which is Speed Queen, and like when to download it, because we're still like in the process of like um, going to that like way of yeah. uh, doing laundry. And pretty soon we'll be having a video on our YouTube explaining how to use Speed Queen. So, okay. all right. So right here, we just have a couple of vending machines. We now have Coke products, and then we have some little snacks you can get real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we have a pool table. Um, and if you want to play pool, I would also, that's another checkout thing, mm-hmm. um, a 
Full stick is currently out right now, mm -hmm. but that will be back behind the front desk soon. Yeah. To get here. Gotcha. And so, right over here, we have a little study area. So, this is one study room, and this is where like we have like a whiteboard. So, if you just need to have a quick little study sesh, and you don't want to go to the library, you can always just come down here to the basement and study. Mm -hmm. And then, if you need a little study break, we have a ping pong table right here. Mm -hmm. And the ping pong paddles and the ping pong balls will also be um, something you'd have to check out from the front desk as well. Gotcha. And we did have a question about laundry. Do the credits roll over, Christopher? Do you happen to know? Um, they roll over from week to week, mm -hmm. but not from semester to semester. So sometime after everyone's left around December 15th or something like that, uh, we'll refresh with the next year. Gotcha. All right, so this is another study room. Yeah, it's a little bit dark. Yeah. Yeah, I was just trying to get the light. Yeah, so there's, there's there the we light. Go. Okay, there oh, we gotcha. Okay. All right. And so this is a slightly bigger study room. We have tables and then another whiteboard. And we kind of mm -hmm. have like a interesting little, like, lecture podium slash smaller whiteboard, mm -hmm. depending on how you want to use it. Interestingly enough, there's a couple of notes on here. Yeah. Left over. And we had another question. Do you reserve the study rooms? Um, no. I believe it's first come, first serve. Mm -hmm. So just like whenever, oops, sorry, just whenever mm -hmm. um, you feel like coming down to study and it's available, you can study in there. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like if you go to the library, um, once you get here, there's a library and there's like two floors for studying. And so... Um, there's going to be like lots of tables um, open to studying and you might like have to study next to a stranger so that could be like the same case for those study rooms right there but if you oh, watch out thank you mm -hmm. um if you want to um basically study by yourself i would like try to get there and there as quickly as yeah. possible but other than that and it's possible that uh, ras and series aka hall directors We'll create a reservation system. It'll be yeah. local if they do that. It varies from residence hall to residence hall. Yeah. But generally speaking, first come, first serve is, is your um, sign. And here, um, here's an exit from the Gregson dorm. Um, we have multiple exits for the Gregson dorm, but I believe you only have one entrance where you can flop in. Mm -hmm. So, like, this is an exit, but you can't enter. Gotcha. Here. So now we're going to go see what a floor looks like, including the bathroom and rooms. So we're back to the first floor again, and right here we have a water bottle station, and mm -hmm. now we're going to see the bathroom real quick. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend you bring a water bottle. Yes, absolutely. So here we have the toilets and obviously urinals because this used to be a boys dorm, mm -hmm. and um, for the girls, um, these will have flowers in them, mm -hmm. or they used to, I'm hoping they still do that now, mm -hmm. so, and just... Quickly over here, we have like a bunch of counter space, some sinks. All the sinks then, you can need. Yes, a bunch of counter space. So, you know, if you, I don't know, want to like do your hair or do yeah. your makeup or mm -hmm. just, you know, check the fit real quick, you can just quickly go in here mm -hmm. or in your dorm, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. We'll see that later. And then can we show off the showers too? Mm -hmm. Right here. Are the showers mm -hmm. and so this is where like a little nook to put all your stuff down mm -hmm. and then you have the actual shower and this is like the size mm -hmm. side thank you for the demonstration yep even as a shower seat very yeah. fancy honestly it is because like you get like a little like shower seat here and then like mm -hmm. little shelves here to put your stuff real quick yeah so also quick little tip mm -hmm. um get a bathrobe for showers oh yeah yeah because you know Technically, you can like just bring your clothes and like bring your clothes in here, the clothes you're about to like change into after your shower and just change in there. But I always feel like gross, like mm -hmm. gross when I do that after I just got in a shower because I'm still like drying. Yeah. So I just prefer to like do a bathrobe and then just walk back to my dorm. So mm -hmm. just get like a bathrobe, it's easy. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you really don't want to do that, you can always just change in the little stall area mm -hmm. before the shower. Nice that there's actually a stall and not like other yeah. other halls where there's curtains, you know? Yeah. yeah. So um, there is that also shower shoes. Mm -hmm. Just get cheap foot flops and dollar shoes. They're very important. Yeah. We had two questions come in. Is there a water bill, bottle filling station on every floor? There should be. Mm -hmm. So there should be one on each floor. Mm -hmm. And, you know, 
If there yeah. isn't, you know, it's a small yeah. dorm. You can always just go down to the first floor real quick and just fill up your water yeah. bottle. I'm I'm ninety percent sure that there's water bottle stations on every floor. Next question: Are there trash chutes in the hallway? And that that one I'm a little unsure about, just because so Same. Gregson does not have an elevator, and that's typically where the trash chutes would be. Um, I also but, do not know the answer to that question. Yeah, but while we're in this room, Christopher, do you would you want to like look and see while we're like looking I'm in the room? To. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go look at that while you. You want to go into this room? Yeah. For a moment? No, so go check the size. This would be room 141. Mm -hmm. So this is what a typical... Action. Oops. All right, y'all, we're back. Uh, okay, sorry, continue. so this is a typical um, dorm in Gregson. That we have here, so two beds, two desks, and then we have two dressers right here and two closets and then like a big mirror right here. Mm -hmm. This is a big mirror. Yep. And normally this is where you would put like your TV if you were to bring a TV here. Mm -hmm. So you have a cable box right here. Um, and then you have plugs on like along the walls. So I believe we have 10 plugs total in this room. Mm -hmm. Um, two behind those desks and then one on each side mm -hmm. of this room. And then another set of plugs right there where the mirror is. Gotcha. Um, and so then we also have a closet, mm -hmm. which is actually pretty cool. Um, so a lot of closet space Yeah. You know, the shoe rack and then like a little like extra cabinet here mm -hmm. if you want to like put cleaning supplies or snacks whatever oh whoops oh yep okay. okay thank you yeah were there any trash shoots yeah, you saw? 136 if you want oh, trash shoots oh yeah um we'll have to find that out later if you want you could just email housing.urw mm -hmm. and we we'll get that answer for you gotcha so are we going to go look at a corner yeah, room now corner okay room. and then we can get some of these these questions asked answered about measurements okay. Right down here. And the furniture and the rooms will be all the same. Correct. Yes. We can finish it here. That's fine. 136. Mm -hmm. you open it up. So. This yeah, this is like pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of difference in dimensions. I think the only difference would be like the window placement, but that's really it. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Y'all. Some dimensions questions? Yeah. Be sure to let us know all the questions you have. The first one is what is the distance between the beds for a rug? The distance between the beds for a rug. So you could put um, oh, okay. the measure. So yeah, you could even just put it at the top of that if you want. And just go between these two. Try and aim at the bed post. Okay. So it is 9 feet and 8 inches. So 9 feet, 8 inches between the beds. Yeah. In, in the corner room. I think they were in a the little corner bit room. less room, maybe on the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Um, also, like, the dimensions of the room themselves, like, you can just get that as a rug and just, like, put the rug under the beds. I mean, it would require, like, a lot of moving, mm -hmm. so I can see why you wouldn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Next question, are the beds twin XL? Twin XL. I believe the beds near the windows are the twin XL. So this one is a twin XL, and then I believe the bed that's near the door is a twin. Mm-hmm. But honest, from what I've experienced, and you can uh, confirm or deny this, like you could get twin XL sheets for the the twin bed, and it'd be fine, right? Yeah. So it's like um, when they first sent out like house equipment sends emails out to freshmen, they send a lot of like um, tips and tricks of like oh what to prepare. And so I've always been told um, when I was like a freshman and a sophomore living here to just get twin XL sheets because they'll fit the, they'll fit the twin XL and the twin. But if you're worried about like you're a very tall person, the window is a twin XL. The one near the door is a twin. That's usually what I've seen. Gotcha. These are about 80 inches each. Mm -hmm. Each one of these. They're the same size. Okay. okay. Well, yeah. that's really wrong. Next question. Can we get a measurement between the two desks, assuming a refrigerator can go in there? So, okay. two desks over here. And again, these are movable. Um, so, you can move this around. So, this is like yeah. approximately like one foot and a half. Mm -hmm. Well, you could move these desks, like you can move this furniture any way that you want. You don't have to have it set up like this. It just can't be taken out of the room itself. Mm -hmm. um, I would also, what you can also do is you can um, loft these beds up higher with a mallet and like put the fridge under your bed. Okay. Because that's where I remember I doing what I was do um, when I lived in the dorm, which is put my fridge under the bed. Yeah, most, I would say a significant portion of residents, because that's what I did too, will put their, their mini fridges underneath the bed. So highly recommend that. How deep is that shelf in the closet? So let's open up the closet here. So, so 
So it's like almost a foot. It's really like eleven inches mm -hmm. and like nine sixteenths of an inch. Yeah. So it's about a foot. I think about a foot deep. Gotcha. And uh, while you're there, they were also asking dimensions of the closet in general. So you could like okay. maybe start with the height first. Okay. So it is about six feet and nine inches long, and then mm -hmm. high, 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 high. Uh -huh. um, and then it is four feet and three inches like wide. If you want to think of this as wide, and mm -hmm. then for the depth, um, not at the shelf, but below the shelf, it's about um, two feet, one foot, and eleven. And could you also measure the height uh, from the floor to that top shelf? From the floor to that top shelf. Yeah. Okay. And that's about five feet and five inches. Gotcha. And we'll be um, uploading this live stream onto our YouTube page, so if you need to review the measurements, you can. How wide is the ledge in front of the window? So... This ledge, I don't even know if you can get the distance yeah, for it. Actually, it's about uh, four inches. Yeah, about four inches for that ledge. Okay. Can you plug directly into the internet with an Ethernet cable? You can if mm -hmm. the room has it. Not all of them because we moved to such a digital mm -hmm. uh, or wireless. Looks like it's over now. there. But yeah, we have them in here. Most do have an Ethernet. Um, mm -hmm. that's, that's cable cable, you're right. Mm -hmm. I believe this is Ethernet. The Ethernet, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next question, how high can you loft? Do you happen to know that, Amaya? Um, so you can, so there's like little rungs um, inside the bed, and so we have the top one right here. So if we kind of just measure from... I've got that for you. Mm -hmm. um, 35 inches like this, from mm -hmm. 3 inches to 35 inches. Okay. There's another piece that can double that, but you have to request it through Fix It. Gotcha. And if you want to have your bed lofted before you come, um, it's the deadline is August thirty. It August would 30th. be Monday. Monday. First. So you can by, get it by the end of the month, yeah. actually Sunday. So, Sunday. So gotcha. That's like saying it's crest. You do mm -hmm. fix it. You mark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Next question: Don't corner rooms generally have two windows? Um. Well, this is the corner room. Are they talking about the next room over? This is on the side room now. The corner room there is set up for an RA, so it wouldn't be applicable. Mm -hmm. Some of them might have might might have uh, two two bed two um, windows. windows. I'm gonna go check the one on this corner. This one wasn't mm -hmm. set up for a residential student. Set up for a residential okay. assistant. So we'll gotcha. Dimension of the room on the website does it have does it go to the front of the dresser or the wall behind it? Um, mm, could, I so they're talking about this right here. Does um, it go to the front of the dresser? Um, what, is, what is the... Could you clarify what, what you're asking? Or do you understand, Maya? If they're asking, like, um, because there is, like, there's this wall and then there's this deeper wall right here. Oh, So yeah. they could be asking about that and, like, if they're just talking about, like, the dimensions of the room, like, if it's just from this wall to this wall, like, not wall to that mm -hmm. wall instead. Gotcha. And we can go check out 133 when we're ready. Okay. Um, are there any drawers that lock? It does not look like in this no, room. Typically it's we do, but it's possible we don't have in this one. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's like, um, so we have like different kinds of furniture amongst the campus. So there are, um, we do have in some dorms furniture where like the drawers like do lock. Like they'll have like um, a little handle and you can twist it to lock it and put, get like by yourself um, like a lock lock, like a look for your locker or something like that mm -hmm. in there. But these ones do not have that. So but we recommend a small save for a little padlock yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Can you open up the inside of the drawer? So I guess uh, over here, because they're asking if they're in good shape, and I'd say they're in pretty pretty good shape because yep. they're asking our drawer liners needed, and I don't I don't think they are. Yeah, they're all pretty good. In some of our halls, the um, furniture is a little older. Mm -hmm. The furniture here is pretty new. Yeah, and I think it's because the because the furniture is movable. That's also what makes it newer. So, uh, the furniture should be in pretty good condition. All right, which side is A and which side is B? Okay, um, <laughs> I really don't know. There could be like an actual like, like I personally don't know. I always just see it as like a like a 
like a record issue, like we have student A and then student B. Absolutely and right. Door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. So it doesn't really matter like which bed is A or B. So if you're like, I really want the bed next to the window, or I really want the bed next to the wall, it's usually like first come first serve, and if it's like really an issue, I would talk that out with your roommate when you get here, and if it becomes like, if it's like not working out, I would um, talk with your RA, and you will talk with your RA along with your roommate when you do a contract with your roommate. You just mm -hmm. kind of establish some rules as roommates, like yeah. what to um, expect within your own room. But yeah. yeah, there's not really a difference. Like it's just it's like. Blah, it's just for record Yeah, keeping. if you want to get really technical, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, Christopher, um, side A is is either on the left or closer to the door, and then side B is on the right or further further away from the door. But like Amaya said, it's really first come first served, um, and you need to make sure um, if uh, you tell your RA, especially when you're doing room inspections, which side is yours. Yeah. Um, yeah, A and B. A and B is only in the assignment system. It doesn't actually correspond to a bed. But over the years, we've kind of been like, all right, mm -hmm. A is on the left side, B is on the right side. Mm -hmm. But it could be whatever you want it to be. Gotcha. Yeah. And if, like, if you're really like specific about like which bed you have, um, you might want to talk with your roommate. And I believe you guys just got all of your roommate assignments. And so hopefully, when you guys filled out the housing stuff, you actually put your, like your social media there, so you can actually like. DM them on Instagram and be like, hey, mm -hmm. we're going to be roommates, and I want to get the bed next to the window. If you, mm -hmm. like, want to talk about that, like, just establish that before you guys move in, so. Gotcha. Is the towel rack on the closet door standard for every room? This right yep. here? Yes. Um, it should be in other dorms. They'll have the towel racks on, like, that door where you enter the room, but mm -hmm. for the Gregson, they'll have it on your closets instead. All right. Can you fit the dressers under the bed? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think so. It looks like you can. Yeah. Um, it's definitely, you could um, definitely loft the bed and put it, um, yeah, so put it on there just, to save some space. I did that wrong because this looks like a wrong bed. Oh, yeah. Did you put it no, 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 no. facing down? I think. Wait, I'm like, I, hmm, I did it facing down. Yeah, do, so do, do it again. Okay. That's slightly better. It's like about three feet, which is like as high as these beds go. Mm -hmm. Specifically 35 inches, but like that's an inch from three feet. Yeah. Do people ever put beds on plastic risers so you can access the end of the bed underneath or do they just ratchet them up with a mallet? They just ratchet them up with the mallet. So mm -hmm. basically we have like the mattress and then we have a metal frame that has like a little hook that goes with the rungs inside the bed frames. So um, if you request it, or if you want to do this yourself, what that usually entails is just getting a rubber mallet and just kind of like knocking the metal mm -hmm. frame off the rung, and then you kind of just adjust it. This is usually like a two-person job, but some people have been able to do it by themselves. But mm -hmm. personally, I recommend, do, recommend doing it with another person. Yeah. To, like, unlock this better it's, higher. Yeah, it, you can do it by yourself, and I've done it by myself, but it's not, a, it's not an easy experience, yeah. so definitely, uh, yeah. definitely get some. Yes. That will just, I just put them yeah. another person. Someone was asking show 132, was that the, um, the we have corner? A, uh, corner room identified. Okay. Check it out. And before we do that, someone clarified about that question earlier, Amaya. Mm -hmm. Um, they're asking about the, the length of the wall. So let's do the wall from here and then, um, uh, like, uh, measure the length of the, of the wall. So from this wall or from this wall? Let's do both. Okay. So if we do from this wall, actually I'm gonna go from here. Yeah. So it's easier to do. And so I don't wanna blind myself from the mirror. And ooh, no. uh, fine. So it looks like that's about twelve feet and eleven inches. I think that's basically almost thirteen mm -hmm. feet. And then, and then from the other wall yeah. over here. Um, that's about 10 feet and 9 inches. Gotcha. Thank you. All right, so let's go see that, uh, okay. that other room. Yeah, yeah, 133 and 132 are corner rooms that we can look at. What was the one this person requested? Oh, 132. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's go to that one. We're going to get to go see your room. Yeah. So, yep, okay, so we have two those. So these are, the, this would be a corner room with the two windows um, for the person that asked earlier. So. Maybe you give them a little 360 on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So just to, to clarify, this this is what a corner room would look like. Yes. Question, how deep are the drawers inside? So they're about um, a foot and eight inches. Mm -hmm. um, you can push it to a foot and nine inches. Yeah, could you also just get the rest of the dimensions? Okay. So, also the so that's too. the depth, this here is um so that's two feet and nine inches and then that is about six inches so six inches deep mm -hmm. i guess this is length so it's about a foot and eight inches um length and then it was about two feet and nine inches wide gotcha next question how do people best hang blackout shades with the blinds already there um it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see if we here. Mm, Christopher, do you have any need blackout yeah. shades? Yeah, yeah. Pull, these these lines, pull like blind down. That's pretty good. Mm hmm I So mean, that's what it looks like with that with yeah. the blinds. I mean down. if you get like if you get like really desperate and like you don't want any light coming in, because like during the night these will pretty much like it'll be dark with these blinds if you just have the lights off and like it's at night time mm -hmm. but if it's like during the day um there's not really like a good way to like get like a curtain rod and like um put blackout curtains i would say like your maybe best, a sheet or something maybe a sheet and like pin it mm -hmm. or tape it preferably but also pin you might mm -hmm. get charged for that but like yeah. you just pin the sheet like over the top here mm -hmm. so. command strips yeah command strips. Strips yeah that thing. they'd have to get a little creative for for, yeah. Just because these rooms aren't really oriented to put up um, curtains again. Like a small tension rod. There's a little bit of space yeah. in there. You might be able to get a small one in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next question. Can you open the closet by the window? Would like to see if there's any space at the end of the bed with the closet open. So, Maya, could you uh, move away from that yeah. spot? So this is about um, yeah. how, much, how much space. Foot. That's about a foot. More, maybe, a little more. Uh, maybe, maybe like a foot and a half. Can you remind us of how we can attach things to the wall in Gregson? Maya, do you know what the do's and don'ts of attaching things to the wall? Um, don't do those LED strip lights that you see on TikTok. Fairy mm -hmm. lights. So, yeah. Well, the fairy lights are actually like the fairy lights, like Christmas lights. Those are fine because you can just get command strip books mm -hmm. and like go along the wall. Mm -hmm. And like as long as you take off the command strip, like the plastic, like the little um, sticky part, okay, then you're good to go. And those usually work like 80% of the time, but those like strip of like LED TikTok lights, mm -hmm. um, those are actually like not mm -hmm. fun with the yeah. paint. Like those will strip off the paint. Mm -hmm. So I about, mean, if you want to do it, you'll get charged most definitely. What about nails? Mm, yeah, it's no, a, it's a no-no. Do don't, don't try it. I mean, yeah. once again, Mm. No, so yeah so command command trips are generally the best yeah. uh, the best way to uh put things up and there's the well, i mean there's so many different types of command strips there's the velcro ones there's the ones with hooks on them um so yeah. so just command strips there's different kinds there to use and like if something isn't working out i would always just youtube something mm -hmm. and just be like hey what can i use to pin up this certain thing in my dorm it's also in our residence hall handbook i'm sure if you look in there um what you can and can't put on the walls uh, what we use a lot ourselves in housing is a blue tape that's mm -hmm. like a painter's tape um and it works really well because it won't pull yeah i up. i have that currently mm -hmm. in my room right now where i have like um i use um, the blue tape for my photos and like posters i wanted to hang up Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't recommend sticky tack because that will leave like a stain. Yeah. Um, usually because of the adhesive. Um, but if you want to use sticky tack instead, you just have to make sure you get an adhesive remover mm -hmm. for that once you t do take it down. But I would recommend command strips overall. There's so many different kinds out there and if not use just um, blue painters tape. Mm -hmm. Next question. Uh, it was uh, more of a statement. Someone said, store-bought bed razors are approved according to the housing website. Um, if it's on the website, then it's good. But Christopher, do you have any comment about it? On risers for the... For yeah. The uh, bed I mean, risers. Bed razors. If you're not, if you're not damaging our, our, our equipment, then it really just becomes safety issues. Yeah. And as long as you're safe, we're, we're happy. Yeah. Uh, is Gregson co-ed? Yes, it is co-ed. Yes. Um, once again, I don't really... 
know exactly I'm, how it's separated, but it's I'm, even, sorry. Oh, no, sorry, I interrupted you, go ahead. Yeah. Um, it's either, when we were talking about um, by gender, either split in half, like right where the lobby was, where like one side is girls, one side is boys, or it could be split by like floors, like one floor is all boys, one floor is all girls, mm -hmm. or it could be a mix. Some halls have like a mix. Yeah. Our, our typical rule of thumb in separating um, male and female genders or whatever genders would be, do they have bathroom space that's independent of each other? Mm hmm okay. Next question. Thank you for sh uh, thank you for showing a corner room. Someone mentioned one thirty three. Um, so sorry, I was just trying to see. It's the mirror image. Of this yeah, room. it's it'll be the it'll be the same as this one. Can you show the view? Yes. So I'm not sure if there's a good view over on this side, uh, just because this is a corner room. Yeah. There's there's a a Just yeah. nice, like it's nature. There's actually a little trail um, on this side that's nice to that's nice to walk through some some greenery. Yeah, mountain bike trail coming online too. Oh, that's cool. You know about that? Um, maybe yeah. I know they're doing construction. Yeah. yeah. There's a new mountain bike trail coming yeah. to campus. Next, is that a Walton project? It is Walton. I, I knew it. <laughs> uh, next question. Also, if I um if I missed any of y'all's questions, feel free to ask them again. Um. Is the wall cement or drywall? Um, this like is probably cement. Yes, I uh -huh. it's cement. I don't think it's drywall. Okay. Try and punch through it. Yeah. So <laughs> we do have some halls that do use drywall, but this is one. Uh -huh. Someone was asking, can we show uh, one thirty-three? It should be the mirror image of this of this uh, room. You know, uh, if, it, if it would make them happy, happy. Then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's Let's fine. do it. We'll do it. We'll unlock it. But it does look very much like that. Get that. Am I? What are you studying? I'm an electrical engineering major. Ooh. So you're braver than I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's tough, mm -hmm. but you know, there's so many like different branches within electrical engineering. If you don't like something at first, you will eventually find something. Mm -hmm. um, and if you really don't like it, um, you could always just change your major. Of course. Nothing to worry about. And if you're worried about finance stuff, we have U of A Cares. Mm -hmm. They'll help you with any like academic issues or financial issues. Yeah. You're kind of like too anxious mm -hmm. or nervous about it. You look great continuing the conversation. <laughs> well, this is like, and then well, I got I got plenty of topics. Well, yes. So, yes. Nate, um, could you talk a little bit about what A Week is? A week. So A week is the week after move in week and also the week before school starts. And that's mm -hmm. where we have like a bunch of fun and cool events for the freshmen to do here or anyone else on campus is coming to campus. And so we'll have a bunch of like cool stuff. Like there's something called chocolate wasted. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I've never so done that. But I can talk a little bit like about that. that. Chocolate wasted is this program where um, you get free chocolate, which is one of the best parts, but it also teaches you um, about alcohol, um, being safe, and so it's just a really great program that we've done every year. There's also Taste of Fayetteville, where there's a bunch of different um, restaurants in Fayetteville that come to the Greek Theater and they give out free samples, which is amazing, so definitely recommend going to A Week. Taste of Fayetteville's a place to be, so is, so is Chocolate Waste, yeah. you know, if you like chocolate. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is 133. So yeah, this is basically a mirror image, um, mm -hmm. But yes, the in the in the meantime, we can also we get some more dimension questions. What are the dimensions of the opening above the closet? All right, so I don't know if this is it on Christopher on that sheet. Um, I don't know that we can get that. Henry, I can hold this for a second if you think that you can. Uh, get it. Yeah, I can get it. All right, man. I usually don't. Usually, I'm on my other camera. All right. This is difficult even for me. All right, so it's one foot eleven inches um, tall. Mm hmm. It is. So, one second. so one foot eleven inches tall is, I think, what you said there. It's about three feet wide. Okay. And then read the length. And it's two feet three inches deep. Two foot three inches deep. Okay. For uh, all you tall people out here, this is a good good storage space. 
Yeah. And, uh, of course, you're going to need a, a yeah, stool. For, for anyone less than six foot, you may want to get a, a step stool to, to put some stuff in there. Um, next question. Do the desks have a cork board? Uh, Looks like they do not. No, they don't. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know, if you get, like, very, like, DIY, I feel like you could, like, try to, like, yeah. put one up on here. Um, yeah. Or, mm-hmm. once again, if you're trying to, like, if you want, like, photos or, like, um, like a calendar or something like that, once again, you can just tape things down. Like, for these desks, like, stuff like that, you could use sticky tack because, like, these won't really, like, leave a stain on anything. I don't think it will, but for mm-hmm. the walls, for the paint, it will. But for these, like, if you want to, like, stick things up here, I think sticky tack will be fine. Or just tape. Yeah. Um, same thing for the walls. Gotcha. But without the sticky tack part. Mm. So. Next question. Is each room able to control their own temperature? Yes. So thermostat is over here. a thermometer right here, and each room has their own thermometer. But um, the heating system slash AC system, um, they're all connected throughout the whole building. So you'll have like a set limit range because we want to have like an overall temperature in a certain range for the whole building during like the um, summertime and then during the winter time, like really like um, keen like making sure that it's within a certain range so that the whole building is like the right temp. Um, so during that time, like when we're changing se- seasons, um, University Housing will send out a mass email and they'll tell you like what like specific dorms like um, tips and tricks on like how to be warmer or be colder. Like I know, I recall like don't open up the windows mm-hmm. if like during like um, warm so, weather. In some of these older buildings, we transition them mm-hmm. on the whole. Like you'll have a little bit of local control in your room, but for the most part, we either are running hot in the building or running cold in the building, yeah. depending on the season. I think Gregson is one of those because mm-hmm. it's an older yeah. building that yeah. Yeah. transition altogether. There's usually hot hit. In October and in April, those are usually yeah. the transition buildings. And like, um, I just specifically remember like in Yoakum when we did a transition, and mm-hmm. like at one point mm-hmm. something went a little bit wrong, but like yeah, you know, just we, buy blankets, sweaters, mm-hmm. yeah. slippers, you'll be fine overall. You yeah. know, just like multiple blankets, like two mm-hmm. three blankets. And, like it's not too bad. It's mm-hmm. not too bad, but yeah. like that doesn't really happen often. Yeah. There, um, there might be a few days where you're a little less comfortable because what we do is we look at the temperature and make a prediction and then we um, set the building to transition. And once we've set it to transition, it's happening. Mm-hmm. And uh, so sometimes it'll be, it's Arkansas, the weather changes quickly. Sometimes yeah. you might have unseasonably hot or unseasonably cold for a few days, but we try to wait and make our very best prediction we can mm-hmm. to keep it as comfortable as possible. Gotcha. Well, thanks, y'all. Next question. Can you show the view from 133? Of course. All right. Yeah. So let's, you know, open up these blinds a little bit. All right. So you have a close-up of a tree. Some nature. You have yeah. nature. Got plenty of, plenty of uh, greenery to see. Stadium, yeah. yeah. And then you can kind of see the stadium through there. And then this view. So this is the band building that's right in front of us. But, um, Definitely, yeah, <laughs> if you uh, look to the left, there's uh, the parking lot or the parking garage, and above it, it's kind of hard to see with the, um, the blind, but there's the stadium. So you're right, you're right next to the stadium. You just go down the hill, and then there you are for the, foot, the football games. So I said, thank you for doing this video. Of course, we, we always love doing these, these videos, showing tours of the rooms. We're excited. Yeah. Glad you're coming. Are the bathrooms cleaned every day? Am I, could you talk a little so, bit about the ISAs? Um, we have a cleaning staff for each dorm, and those will be typical like work hours. Um, so mm-hmm. they'll be um, cleaning the bathrooms every day, Monday through Friday. And like on each floor, like um, there should be a sign next to the bathroom or near the bathroom, like what times we're planning to clean it, because they do go from like one floor and then go up from there, like go down, like however they do it. Um, but they will be cleaning Monday through Friday, and then on the weekends, it's a weekend they're off and those are their days off and then they won't be cleaning but they'll be cleaning monday through friday through like a certain however many like hour 30 some minutes for each floor so they'll be cleaning the bathrooms Mm -hmm. okay next question can you fit a folding step stool uh between the dressers so let's look at the dressers Mm -hmm. um yeah if it was just if you could fold it up and i mean this is about this is not even a foot um six inches yeah, I mean, you can still, like, push this one a little bit. Yeah, I can maybe give you an extra inch. Um, you may be better if for a step stool, because um, I 
I don't know. I assume they were talking about the uh, the tall space up there. You could maybe put it in the closet or yeah. against there potentially. Um, yeah. yeah. Put it in the closet. Or put, put it up against the wall there. Yeah. yeah. Again, it just depends on okay. how big that big that step stool is. Like in terms of like hanging a bunch of things like towel hangers or like hanging clothes or like your hanging blankets like or like hanging bags. Honestly, these bed frames are good for hanging a lot of things. Like I'm hanging blankets here. Mm -hmm. I'm hanging like my backpack or like tote bags here. Um, yeah. Using all the furniture. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm using the furniture as much as I can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next um, question Is the desk hutch removable? Not a lot of space for a desk monitor. Is it removable? I don't think Probably it is. Probably not. No, because it's no. screwed. Yeah. So, yeah, so unfortunately it is not. Yeah. You can measure. Could you um, put the measure down right here and see? Okay. Right here. <laughs> So that's about um, one foot and three inches tall. Tall, one foot, three inches so tall. 15 inches. Mm -hmm. yeah. 15 inches. Could you show the connections for the TV and network? Yes, so here it is. There's your cable box. And then you have several several plugs yeah. uh, for, for here. So this is generally where you would have a TV. I mean, you could put it on the dresser or if you wanted to move the uh, the drawers, you could as well. Yeah. Um, and then the internet. Oh yeah, Ethernet is, is over there. Um, so that's all the questions we have for now. Um, be sure to let us know if you have any more. In the meantime, I'm gonna talk about uh, pick one. All right, is it oriented good? Yep. All right, um, so we have this program, this initiative, that's called Pick One. You can learn more about it by going to pickone.uarp.edu. And essentially what it is, is, um, uh, is it? No, uh, no, no, uh, there's quite another question, but I'll let you finish. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. Um, but um, essentially there's a list of uh, different organizations, registered student organizations that you can join. And those could be anything from lead hogs, um, where it's kind of a leadership initiative where you can uh, make improvements to the residence hall with your fellow uh, students, um, or something that's focused on you, rec that's all about uh, fitness and exercise. Um, the goal of it is just, you know, there's so many different organizations, but you you can pick one before you um, uh, come to campus. And um, uh, yeah, just, it's a good way to be involved and I can't recommend it enough. All right. Yeah. So next question: Can we see room three twenty six and its view? We're actually on this floor, so we're gonna have to. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we're not talking yeah, about that. We we are we are on the first floor. Yeah. But if it's twenty six, where would that be from? Because twenty six uh, is. Let me go out here. Let's see. So you would probably be facing um. Reasons. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I'm just looking at it now. Yeah, um, no, we can so reference it. So 126 is actually just actually right down here, just a little bit. So you'd probably be facing um, the stadium. Okay. So yeah. 126 is on the main. Down that hallway. Right. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This right here is 126. So okay. if you're on the third floor, you'll have a, a good view of uh, the stadium. Our next question is, if the housing portal shows my room is 0133, does this mean my room is on the first floor in the basement? It means it's on this first floor above mm -hmm. the lobby. Yeah, there are no um, resident rooms on the basement, in the basement. Yeah, the zero is just an extra yeah. value in front of the mm -hmm. room numbers. In case there were, you know, more than 10 floors. Yeah, that, and that's the case of Yoakum. It has 10 floors, so like the top floor has like 1020 as, um, mm -hmm. as a room number. Gotcha. And um, Christopher, we're getting more questions about showing specific rooms. Do you think we have time for that, or should we start wrapping it up? No, we probably need to wrap it up. I'll, we'll jump in here if we have any more dimensions questions. Yeah. But. Okay. Um, our next question, can you put up curtains and suggestions on how to do that? So, like, as we were saying before, um, in another room, like, you could possibly, like, get, like, a really small, like, curtain rod, like a thin one, because like, there's, like, kind of some space. Um, but, um, in terms of, like, I would say it's easier to get, like, um, curtains with, like, um, built-in rings or something like that, and then, like, strategi strategically place, like, hooks at the top above it, like someone was doing right here, because mm -hmm. I forgot to take that down, I'll take mm -hmm. that down later, um, but, like, just put command, um, strips and, like, hooks, um, I recommend probably doing it above the yeah. lines, and then just hooking, like, um, 
Karen rings or the rings inside the curtain and, and using that. It would be gotcha. kind of weird because you can't like open and close it. You just have to hook them on and hook them off. But that's like really the only option. All right. Much. Well, I think that's all the questions that we have. Um, thank you all for tuning in and thank you to Maya for giving us the tour. And yeah, Maya, you can just sign us out. Okay, well, glad to see you all here. Um, and I hope to see you during move-in week. Bye. Awesome, thank you.